Hi, my name is Mike, and um, I've been putting this off for a long time. I've been wanting to make one of these videos, and I just haven't really found the, the right way. And I figured today's Spirit Day, um, it's October 17th, 2013, as you can see I'm wearing purple, uh, in honor of Spirit Day, and I thought, you know, what better day than today to make this video? And I just want to, you know, lend my voice to the, I think it's hundreds of other voices who have spoken out and said, you know, it's time to end the bullying. It's time to end all of this nonsense. Um, there are millions and millions of children who are bullied every year, and it breaks my heart. I know it does a lot of people's hearts. And it's ridiculous, and it, it shouldn't happen. Uh, I am gay. I started coming out to my friends when I was 16 years old. And uh, most of them were very supportive, and most of them are still my friends to this day, which is great. I'm 36 now, so that tells you how long ago it was. I won't do the math because that's a little scary, but you can do the math yourself. Um, but, you know, I, I was very lucky. Um, I lost a couple of friends who didn't want to be friends with me simply because I was gay or am gay. Um, and I probably have, you know, lost some friends along the way who just didn't tell me that was why. But that's okay, you know, they really weren't true friends to begin with, if that's the case. But I am very lucky. Um, my family accepted me. Um, most of them right away. And, and I say most of them, I mean, you know, because some of them I didn't come out to um, right away. But they've all, you know, eventually accepted me, and, and I've been very lucky in that sense. And um, like I said, a lot of my... Uh, friends from childhood are still friends of mine. I do have a couple of friends and I'll let them tell their own stories uh, when they choose to do so. But I had one friend who didn't even come out to his family. Just the fact that he was friends with me um, caused ridicule within his own home. And his father actually beat him up and kicked him out of the house. And he was 16 years old and had nowhere else to go. So he came to my house and stayed for a couple of nights. He went to other friends' houses and stayed for a couple of nights. And then he eventually um, was welcomed back into his uh, parents' home. Um, he never really felt safe there, and, and he ended up leaving not too long after that. Um, he's actually pretty lucky, too. And, and I hate to say that because of what he went through, but he could have been a lot worse. And if you knew the man he's become today... Um, which is just amazing. He's, um, he's still one of my best friends to this day. His story is, like I said, not uncommon, but it could have been a lot worse. You know, there are, there are probably hundreds, a lot more than we know about anyway, uh, hundreds of kids every year that commit suicide or are literally beaten to death simply because of who they are or who the bullies suspect them to be. And there's no, there's no need for that. Um, today, like I said, is Spirit Day, and it's a day to say I stand up against bullying. I am coming out against bullying. Um, there shouldn't be a day like today. There shouldn't have to be a day where we have to say bullying is wrong. It should just be understood. Bullying is wrong. There's also National Coming Out Day, which was just a few days ago, and I contemplated doing this video then, and I frankly just didn't have the time that day, and, and that's, that's my problem, not yours. But in all honesty, there shouldn't be a National Coming Out Day. There shouldn't have to be gay pride parades. There shouldn't have to be any sort of pride parades. We should all just be equal. And that's a utopian society that doesn't exist, unfortunately. So in the meantime, I'm proud to be a part of those days and those events. And I'm proud to say that I am a gay man living in America in 2013. And I'm very, very lucky um, but not everybody is, and it was a struggle to get here a little bit, um, but my struggle was nothing compared to the struggles of most. So if you are struggling and you're being bullied, know that there are things that you can do. Obviously, go to your teachers, go to your parents, go to the adults in your life, go to your friends and let them know that you're being bullied, and they'll be able to help you and support you, and they'll be able to find ways to... Um, help the situation, and I wish there were more specifics I could give, but there really aren't. Uh, unfortunately, in today's society, although we've come a long way, there's not much we can do to stop the bullying once it started, 
But I can tell you this, it gets better, and that's the whole point of this video, and that's the whole point of this whole project. It does get better. What you go through, as bad as it may seem at the time, as horrible as it may be at the time, just know that you'll come on out the other side a much stronger and, and better person. Um, I was made fun of in school. I was never what I would consider bullied. Um, by today's standards, I certainly wasn't bullied at all. But I, it was the worst I could possibly feel at the time. And when I first started coming out to my friends, although they were very accepting, each time I did it, it felt better. Each time I, I came out, it was a weight off my shoulders. But there was always that worry, will this person accept me? And the, the biggest problem, the biggest concern, I should say, not problem, was my family. Would they accept me? I knew they loved me. I knew that they would eventually accept me. I knew that in, in the deepest part of my heart, but I was concerned that they might not. And that was probably the hardest part about coming out to them is the what if. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I've come out to everybody I've come out to, and I'm glad that I live my life as an openly gay male. Um, but I know that's not the case for everybody. It's easier said than done. So if you are struggling, if you're being bullied, if you are just trying to figure out what you are, you know, are you gay, are you bi, are you straight, are you transgender, are you transvestite, are you just curious. All of these things are possibilities and all of these things are okay. But there are people who can help. And you should start with itgetsbetter.org or thetrevorproject.org or glad.org. These are, you know, there's others too, but those are the first three that I thought of. And, and there are people at these organizations who are trained to help you with any of the questions you might have, any of the concerns you might have. And you know what? Find me on my YouTube channel or find me on Facebook. My name is Mike Vatter. V is in Victor, A-T-T-E-R, Mike Vatter. And I'll be happy to talk to you. I'll be happy to help you if I can. And if not, I'll be happy to help you find somebody who can help you get through this. It does get better. And you'll be a happier, successful, just wonderful person on the other side of all of this. No matter how bad your struggles are, I promise you that. You will survive this and it will get better.